uh, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, Ted Smith shear to do a um, just a small sheet metal project, and then um, I'm going to use the brake here to bend it. That's the brake. Co. And this is the shear. This is uh, just a foot foot power. <laughs> and there's the guts of it. Basically, it's just going to take this piece here, has a sharp edge there. It's going to shear it against another sharp edge. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward to use. Uh, first thing to do though is uh, need to mark up some, um, this is aluminum, um, just need to mark something up to, to bend. I think I'm going to do uh, two, about total of six inch uh, kind of C brackets that are going to use on an automotive project. So these are going to be like um, six inches high with two tabs an inch deep. Um, so I'm going to need an inch here, an inch here, so a total of eight inches, eight inches, an inch wide. So I'm just going to cut it from both end ends. So I'll cut along here first, and then I'll just trim off the two ends. So I just kind of need. <clears throat> Some marks that I can line up in the machine in the shear doesn't need to be super jacked in this case, but So I'm just going to cut right around there, both sides. So, 8 inches long, now I want to bend them 90 degrees, 90 degrees, make a large C kind of. So. Alright, I'm going to do this in two steps. One I'm going to do further, further away, the other one I'm going to do close up, so you can see the close up of it. So, first we'll do the further away one, just to show the setup. different tools here for different lengths that you might want to bend. And obviously any short one you can do over here as well. Uh, there also can be other types of fittings here if you're going to do certain different types of radiuses as well. But yeah, pretty easy for most sheet metal this stuff will work. <coughs> so I want to do 90 degrees. It, you are kind of just moving it and getting it roughly 90 degrees. A little bit less. 
less or more to it. So what I'm going to do is take a measure. Measure one inch. And there's two locks. This one's already down. That kind of locks this side. And this side, which will press that down and hold it in place. Now it's not going anywhere. And you have a counterweight over here. And we're just going to move this counterweight back. It's going to bend it. And we're just going to go to 90 degrees. Or a little bit past, just to get a picture of bend it all the way. Cool. And I want to do the other side. Okay. other one. I'm going to do this close up to this there with me and I'm going to get set up. All right, here we are again. Here's the one inch. Locking it. Now I'm going to move the counterweight. Now if I stopped at 90 and came back, you see it springs back a little bit. So I want to just go a little bit past that to get it at 90. Release. There's one side. I want it to go the same direction. I just says up. I want it to go the opposite direction. I it go down. <clears throat> you have to run into some issues when you go opposites. You'll hit the back back here. So it um, can be tough for really small parts. Since we're going in the same direction, there's plenty of room. Got the counterweight back a little bit past. Release. There we have it. Now it's not very stiff right now, but it's going to be attached on these two points. It's just going to hold something on its surface. So. so basically that's how you use uh, a shear and brake. So basically that's how you use a shear and brake. Pretty straightforward. Um, I'm lucky I have access to these two pieces of equipment at our local makerspace, the center of gravity. So if you have one in your region, just look them up. They might have these machines to do these types of projects. Thanks for watching.